Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and today we will uh, actually show you how to create a um, little disk that can be extremely useful in case uh, Windows 7 doesn't start up. Um, Windows 7 is a very very reliable operating system. It rarely has problems. But like all operating systems and computers, um, you know, there could be some problems popping up, popping up here and there. And especially one of the worst, probably one of the worst things that can happen to your Windows 7 install is the fact that it doesn't start anymore. And you try to boot up the computer and it just doesn't want to work. So um, there's a tool that's integrated into the uh, Windows 7 install that lets you do a special disk that you can boot from and use to fix and repair computer problems as startup for Windows 7. So um, you need to create that disk in order to have um, a possibility to uh, boot up with something else if your Windows just doesn't want to start anymore. To create that disk, all you have to do is go into your start menu at the bottom left, go into all programs, click on maintenance, and there you'll have one that's called create a system repair disk. You'll click on that, and here it pops up that little window here where you can finally create a system repair disk. Um, basically, that disk will um, just you know, have all the information in a bootable option so that you can fix errors and problems uh, with the boot up. So if you can't boot your computer, you, at least you can boot it with that disk and have all the tools necessary to try and fix your computer. So once you're there, you select your drive. If you only have one like me, well, that's okay. It's already selected for you. Click Create Disk. It's going to prepare the files that is needed to actually create the disk um, and then just insert a blank disk on your computer um, you don't need a DVD it works a, a, on a DVD but it works also on a CD so if you have only CDRs it's okay the uh, repair tools aren't uh, really uh, big so they fit on a CD so you can actually have a bootable CD with all the little tools and actually will show you these tools in another video and explain a little bit how they work. So uh, it's a great idea to make this disk. Uh, almost nobody has this repair disk. Um, if you've got a, uh, a real Windows 7 uh, disk, if you've got that Windows 7 DVD, the original DVD, um, that's cool because you have all these tools on that original DVD that you uh, have got from Windows. But if you're uh, system is a, a manufactured system like this Toshiba for example it doesn't come with a Windows disk it comes with a set of recovery disks that you have to create yourself and the recovery disks don't have the tools to help you uh, actually fix a Windows install so if you only have recovery disks with your computer uh, or if you have no disks at all it's a really good idea to at least create this repair disk so that you'll have all the tools necessary to fix any startup problems in Windows 7. So it's as easy, easy as that. It takes a few minutes. Um, if your drive's a little slow, it can take uh, you know a little more time. But um, I strongly recommend that you create this disk uh, and you know write on it Windows 7 repair disk. Put it somewhere safe that you'll know where it is. And if any problem arrives, you know that you'll have uh, everything. So here it says you can use the system repair disk to access system recovery options that can help you recover your computer from a serious error. And of course, the repair disk is um, dependent on the operating system. So here it's a repair disk for Windows 7 32 bits. Uh, it tells you to actually label your disk. And um, if you have a 64-bit Windows 7, then it's going to say, well, just, you know, label your disk with repair disk Windows 7 64 bits. So uh, if you enjoy these videos, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions or maybe a request of a video you'd like to see, let us know. We'll try to put it online for you and uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel.
Bye-bye.